hello programmers I'm Yash and welcome to my video tutorials so today we will be learning about user defaults in Swift 4 so as you can see my Xcode version is 9 so let's get started here I have already uh, set up a basic application layout so I have a text field and a label so what we will be doing is we will be fetching name from the text field and displaying it on the label along with that we will be saving the name uh, in user defaults so that when user comes back to use the application the name is already there so let's get started by connecting it so control drag text field it will be txt name and uh, we don't have any button here so we will be using text field delegate so uh, if you don't know about text field delegate just stick around you will know it's a good knowledge to have so basically when user press return key on keyboard uh, we will be fetching the text from the text field okay so first we need ui text field delegate then under view did load reference your text field so which it is text name dot delegate is equal to self and if you look inside just uh, press command and your text field and jump to definition you will see there is a function called text field should return so it is called when return key pressed okay so this is what we are looking for so just type in return and you will find text field should return so one more thing guys we need to give our text field a tag name so that if you have multiple text fields you can reference uh, which one you are looking for so tag will be one so let's get started so first of all it will be oh, I was, okay here is my pointer so if text field dot tag is equal equal to one then what we need to do is we need to set our label so it will be label name dot text is equal to text field dot text and we need exclamation mark because we know that there will be text and we need to return true just saying that there is no error simple so let's try to run our application okay uh, the code is building so right now we are just basically taking text from text field and displaying it uh, in a label so here the application is running so I will like type in Yash and here I have it and as soon as I press return key it's in the label so that's good so now let's uh, try to use user defaults so it's really easy to use user default you just say uh, after you are done with label name dot text hit enter and say user defaults dot standard is equal to set value any for key string okay so value will be text field dot text and exclamation mark and for key will be just name okay so we are done over here and when a uh, view did load uh, so under view did load just type in if let name is equal to user defaults dot standard dot uh, value for key okay so it will be key will be the name uh, the key which you gave here so it will be key will be name and we will downcast it as string and now we will set the label as well so label name dot text is equal to name so we are good to go over here so let's run our application once again and the application is loading and now I will type in Yash once again. Uh, so, uh, is, uh, if you noticed, it's written label right now. So I will just type in my name over here and I just press return key. Okay. So now we will stop the application. Okay. As you can see, we stopped the application. Uh, let's try to get it from multitasking as well. So. These are my previous test cases. 
anyways so we don't have user defaults ag uh, over here so let's run it again and now as you see yosh is written over here let's try once uh, one another string so let's say dog and dog and hit return so it's dog right now and let's so if you want to like simulate home button it's shift command h h so we will take it out from the multitask and now we will run the application once again and we should get dog so here we have it guys uh, i hope you learned a lot from this uh, do go under ui text field and look around for different methods it's uh, good to know and as always thank you guys keep watching and don't forget to subscribe